Okay, so the uh, Russian turn is um, is coming up now. They have 35 IPCs to spend. They're going to spend eight on two artillery and the other 27 on nine infantry. Uh, all of the Russian moves are non-combat, but there are quite a few of them. So let's uh, have a look here. Okay, first off, the uh, two infantry from Archangel are going to load onto this uh, transport. And the transport and the submarine are going to move three into whoa, it's not turning. Uh, C zone uh, 111 and offload in Scotland. Okay. Um, so in terms of other moves, the infantry from Karelia is going to move to Novgorod. The two infantry from Belarus are going to move to Novgorod. The tank from Archangel is going to move to Novgorod. The uh, artillery from Smolensk is going to move to Archangel. Uh, three of the infantry from Russia uh, can use the rail station and rail three into Novgorod. Uh, the infantry from Smolensk can move forward into Belarus. Uh, the artillery, uh, mech, tank, and anti-aircraft are going to move from Russia to Smolensk. The second anti-aircraft is going to move south to Bryansk. All of the forces in Bryansk, two infantry and one mech, are going to move into Ukraine. The Rostov infantry is going to move into Ukraine. The Tambov infantry is going to move into Smolensk. The Volgograd infantry is going to move into Rostov. The infantry and mechanized, or sorry, the mechanized infantry and tank from Volgograd are going to go to Ukraine. And the two guys from Caucasus are going to load onto this transport and uh, offload in Ukraine. I think we saw all that. Right. Okay. Uh, in the uh, east. Um, basically, everybody's going to move forward, okay? So the infantry in Yenisei is going to move to Yakut. The two infantry artillery from Yakut are going to move to Buryatia. Three infantry, one mech from Buryatia into Saka. Um, the... Sorry. Uh, the four infantry from Amur, plus the tank and the artillery, and the mech are going to move into Saka. Infantry from Siberia will move into Saka, and the infantry from the Soviet Far East will move into Siberia. The um, uh, little Russian navy that is in C-Zone um, 5 is going to move over here to C-Zone 3. Uh, so that's all the non-combat. So we will uh, be back in a second with placement and money. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, fighter and the tactical bomber from Russia uh, are going to be flying five spaces over to Yakutsk. Okay, placement of new units. Um, the Russians have the tech where they can put one additional unit into each facility. So this minor factory here can produce four units instead of three. So they're going to put two of their new artillery and two of their new infantry. Uh, the military base in Ukraine uh, can take three new men. So that's what we're going to have there. The military base in the Caucasus is can take three, but is only going to take two men. And then uh, the military base over here in Saka is going to produce two additional infantry. Okay, um, so that's that. I'm going to come back in a second with uh, money. Okay, Russia's income has not changed. So um, they get 35 IPCs again, uh, but they also get a three IPC bonus because they currently have no allied troops in um, uh, Russian territory. Oh, now, uh, one thing I forgot, uh, during my non-combat uh, non movement, um, I said I was going to land these guys in Scotland. I, of course, cannot do that because uh, Russia is still neutral. So they're going to stay on the boat and maybe be a tempting target to... Uh, uh, to the um, uh, Germans to, to see if they want to sink that. Okay, uh, so Japan's up next. Uh, you'll notice I'm not doing a, an overview of, of all of the, um, the, the state of each uh, uh, territory anymore because, again, this is a solo game, so there's nobody on the other end of this who's uh, sort of 
fixing or double checking his map. So uh, we'll just sort of go with uh, with how things go. All right, so uh, Japan's up next.